Hi, this is Paul Salt from iPhone Dev TV. I want to show you how to present a view controller in a certain orientation and how you can pop back to your original orientation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new view controller. When we press the login button, it's going to pop up in the landscape orientation just to show you how you can switch between orientations for different view controllers. So let's go ahead. I am going to add a new file. So if we right click on the project and do new file, or you can click right down here and say new file. We'll do an Objective-C class. Now to keep this easy, I'm just going to do another view controller class. And so we'll call this landscape view controller. And this will be a UI view controller. I'll also automatically create the XIB file. Now I've, I've shown you how to create this in another demo, but I'm going to let Xcode do it for me because it will make this demo a lot quicker. So now we will create this. And when we do that, we now have a new view controller that we can display. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up our sidebar here and we will rotate our orientation into landscape so that we can build out our interface here. Now I am going to add a single button and maybe some stuff just to show that we are in the landscape orientation. So this is just a, a demo. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so that I can get rid of this view controller. And so in order to do that, we'll go to the assistant editor along the top and I'll hide this sidebar. And what I want to do is I want to connect that button that I can no longer see. So here is the button. We will just drag this over to either our um, dot H or dot M. Now I'm on manual right now, so I'll need to switch back to automatic and Doing so, we can drag it right into our implementation block. So you see implementation here. We'll insert the action. Once we see that it's an action, we will just say button pressed and we'll connect it. Now here, the easiest way to get started is just to dismiss the current view controller. So let's bring this back so we can see our, our code all in one line. And so I started to type self and then we want to dismiss. So there's a, a method to dismiss the view controller animated. And if we click on this one, it will insert that code. We generally want to animate unless we don't want to show the change. So if there's a bunch of view controllers, you might not want to animate all of them disappearing. But in this case, we have a single one that's going to disappear and we'll just say yes. So that will allow us to remove the view controller from the current screen. And if we look at this method here, you can read that this will allow us to dismiss the controller. Now, the, the little thing that we're taking advantage here is this second sentence right here, where if you call this on the presented view controller, it automatically forwards the message to the presenting view controller. So generally I would do a delegate method, but to keep things simple, I'm going to avoid doing that. And we're just going to dismiss it here. Now, our next step is to create this in our view controller class. So we have our, our view controller class here, and we want to connect a button on the view controller. So let's go to the login button. I'll switch back to our assistant editor. This is just the easiest way to connect a button and we'll click on the login button, drag it to insert an action into our view controller class. And here this will be a login button pressed. With that, we can now create a new view controller. So let's go back to a single view and jump back to our code file view controller. So here's that login button pressed method. And right in here, we're going to create a new landscape view controller. So we've created this file over here. The first thing I need to do up at the top is to import the a landscape view controller so that this code file knows about the other code file. Once we've done that, we can come back to our method that we're working on. And inside of it, we're going to create a landscape view controller. So if I start typing, I can hit tab to autocomplete. And I'll just call this landscape view controller. And with this, we can now create it. So I can use the name. So this is a class name, alloc init. So this is going to create the memory address and populate it with the valid object. And once we have a view controller object, we can present it. So we can do self present view controller and it says bottom method down here, animated completion block. So the controller is the name, landscape view controller, animated will generally want yes. 
And then completion, we don't need to do anything, so we'll just pass nil. So once we do that, if we stop and run, pressing login will make our view controller pop up. Now we have an issue here. It's not respecting our orientation. So here we need to tell it what orientation we want this to be in. And so right now it just makes it pop up like this. So we want it to, to flip orientations on the user. You might have a, a help screen that you want to show in a specific orientation and maybe the rest of your app supports multiple orientations or something like that. I do this in my app called photo table. So let's go over to our landscape view controller. There's a method we have to add here. It is going to start with a preferred. So I'm just going to start with a dash and then start typing prefer. And then as I type that, we'll look for a method here and we see the preferred interface orientation for presentation. Now this is where we need to override our default behavior for whatever the view is going to be. So I'll add my squiggly brackets and now we just need to return a value. So if we just start typing or if I hold the option key, I can see the options here. You'll see that it's the UI interface orientation portrait and it's actually assigning it to another, another variable that's UI device orientation portrait. So don't worry about that second one. Generally, when we see one of these return statements, we want to mimic what we see here. So we will just type UI interface orientation. Now you have to be careful here because there is a mask all, mask landscape. What we want is the landscape or yes. So I'm just gonna go with our landscape left because I always want it to be in a certain landscape orientation and I'm just going to force it to that. So now if we stop and rerun, I hit login, you'll notice that the iPhone flipped for me and it slid in from this side. So now when I hit button, we go back to our default orientation. Now, I, I didn't set the default orientation in the, the view controller class, but we did limit which orientations we can support. And we are able to override that with a new screen because we set one of these properties. Now, if I had landscape right and left, let's see what happens when we leave that one screen. So I hit login, we're now in landscape, I hit button, and okay, so it did drop us back out. And if we look at the documentation, so this is something that you need to get into the habit of looking at, if we hold the option key and click on this, we can see some options for it, and I don't see anything here about setting what orientation it's going to be. But I'm just going to copy this right here and put it into our view controller. And let's say we wanted portrait. We could put that explicitly so that we don't have any issues when we hit the button off. And I've had, I've had situations where if I don't explicitly say this, my app or the status bar can get into the wrong orientation. So that is how to present a, a view controller from another side. Let's see what happens when we rotate here. Okay, it is it is popping back to our portrait. So this is this is one of the situations I think I've been, and I think it's more a problem on the iPad when you can be rotated and you start the app in the portrait and then you launch a screen and then it dismisses. If you don't say this, so let's see what happens when we don't say this. Okay, so I'm going to log in and then hit the button. And now you see that it, it stays here. And let's see if we limit our device orientations in our project settings under general. So I'm gonna remove landscape left and landscape right. So it shouldn't support those anymore. And if I rotate, okay, so we're not seeing those. On the iPad, you can actually support this orientation when the, the iPad is on the home screen. On iPhone, it doesn't do this. But what happens on the iPad is you can be in this orientation. You can start up the app. And sometimes you can get into a situation where when you start the app, it starts up in the wrong orientation. So I was having this issue for an update that I did with my app artwork evolution which i now have a little tutorial screen but i always want to be in portrait so let's switch back to portrait here and again 
log in, I can force a screen to come in on landscape, and then I can back out of it. So this is a handy way to make sure that new screens that, that come on the screen do not affect the way your view controllers want to be presented. So sometimes we want to limit that, and that's what we've done with this login screen. So as you can see, I can rotate the device. It does not rotate. If I log in, if I rotate, this does not... Oh, there, we just got it to rotate. So that's not a situation we wanted... Um, for this landscape view controller. Hi, this is Paul Solt, and I just want to do a, a little edit. When I was running this right now, let's get it on the simulator, I did the, the login screen, I, I popped this up, and then I rotated the device, and what happens is it went back to portrait. So I just needed to, to make this screen appear once, I rotate one way and rotate back, and then all of a sudden it is now back in portrait. So we want to avoid that. And there's a, a change that we need to make. There's one more line of code. And uh, I was looking on, on Stack Overflow. So anytime you have one of these issues, you can sort of look up things. And I started to look for, okay, well, let's look at, at this method here on Stack Overflow. Should auto rotate to interface orientation? And I start typing this. And then all of a sudden... I see, oh, that method is now deprecated, which means we shouldn't use it on iOS 7. But there's this new method um, that no one was talking about. And if I click on this one, we will get this to appear. And I, I want to say no here. So I'm going to return. One sec. Return no. And when we do this, if I click on this, I should see documentation. This is just another method to help control. This is another method to help control the rotation. And it used to be defaulting to no on iOS 5 and earlier. So if you're old school, you were working with that. But even still, it, it defaults to yes here. And so this is behavior that might be annoying to you when you have a screen that you only want in a certain orientation. So what we're going to do here is hit stop and start. And now it's going to ask it, okay, should it auto-rotate? So when we present this, if I start rotating our device here, we see it is not rotating, and we are now back. So I'll hit the button, and it goes away. And So we can make this appear again, and it goes away. So that fixes the issue where it was rotating. I know there's a lot of different little settings. These two lines, or these two methods, allow us to control that more precisely, in addition to the standard way of uh, doing your device orientation for your app, but sometimes you want a screen that is going to appear in a, a landscape orientation that is different, or or a portrait that is different from your your main orientation. So that's how to fix that bug. And thank you for checking out these tutorials on how to create a custom login screen. If you want to see more stuff like this, please leave a comment or hit the subscribe button.